Okay, here it is, our fingerboard jig for doing a compound radius, 7.5 to 9.5. And we'll just take a few shots, give you an idea of what's going on, and then I'll explain a little bit to you. I don't have any plans for this one. And I did try this one today and it worked out quite well. There's the uh, seven and a half pivot. And this is our nine and a half uh, pivot uh, piece. This is the uh, adjustment. That's just, that disc is a uh, like a thumb screw. I'm using a, a small turnbuckle and I have two springs which are pulling it in one direction and I use the turnbuckle to pull it back. These two uh, triangle hinges, there's one for the heel and the holes correspond with the holes in the headstock and the heel to hold it in place. Looks kind of funky I know and it looks kind of complicated but it actually is quite simple and I'll just give you an idea what it does when I use that uh, thumb, thumb screw so I can just dial in the neck and run my router down the length of the neck and I just take a turn do a sweep, do another turn, do a sweep and just go back and forth and I just adjust it to whatever I feel like doing. If I'm going to go a sixteenth at a time, I'm looking at uh, 30 plus uh, sweeps or uh, length cuts on the neck and uh, it works pretty good. I'll show you the neck in a second and give you what a finished result looks like. Those uh, pivots are actually from uh, a lawnmower uh, for steering, like a steering linkage. And that's just like a, a coupler there. 3 8 threaded rod and 3 quarter inch MDF. And that's all it is. I just have it mounted in a box system here. And this was a, a beta test and it actually turned out quite well. Uh, there is no real refining or refinements I need to make with this jig. Um, obviously this table here, the top part with, where the router runs across, you're going to want that as straight as possible. That way when you're doing your frets, installing your frets, you're going to have a truer uh, surface for them to be mounted into and less fret uh, leveling involved. Uh, those extra boards on the outside, I got them off an older jig I was working on and that just keeps the top table or base plate nice and true and those inside rails are just to keep the router centered and uh, you'll see the shots of it in action later on in the uh, tutorial. Okay, here you can see the routing process again, and I'm just taking single runs at this time. I try different methods and different uh, passes, and then I just simply do my run, turn my thumb screw, and take another run, and uh, continue on my happy way. I'm using uh, the same bit that I used to contour the rear of the neck. It's the top bearing flush trim bit, but I think I'll invest in a dish carving router bit the next time, I think. Or some type of a, of a bit that has the, the blades on the bottom end of the router bit instead of on the sides because the cutting's taking place on the end, not the sides, more or less. Um, here you're seeing uh, an angle from the headstock down to the heel. I'm take, you can see the um, amount that I'm turning that neck the rotation of it for each pass. Uh, it's very slight, about a sixteenth. And I think with a different bit, I can either go uh, wider or smaller with that, with the proper type of a bit. Uh, we'll just have to play around with it a little more. And uh, otherwise, it's turned out quite well.